Hi everyone. This is going to be nine cases where graphs intersect the horizontal or oblique asymptotes of rational equations, the graphs of rational equations. Um, basically, we're using the terminology of this is your rational uh, equation. And we're going to let the degree of p to the x equal n and the degree of q to the x is going to equal m. So I'm going to speak in terms of that because the first thing we have to do is find the horizontal or oblique asymptote. Then we uh, set it to the original equation and see if it uh, the graph intersects. So the first one we have is this one. Uh, if I rewrite this I have this as x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x. And basically, the degree in the numerator is 1, and the degree in the denominator is 2. That means my horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So to see if the graph intersects this, what we're going to do is set the equation to equal 0. So we're going to say y equals x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x, but our y happens to be 0, so we set 0 over. Now, when you cross multiply, this would be 0 over 1. Um, when you cross this up here, it zeroes out. So you're going to end up with 0 equals x plus 1, so x equals negative 1. So yes, it does cross at when y is 0, right here, x would be negative 1. So it does intersect the graph or crosses the horizontal asymptote. The next one we have is this one. So this would be x over x squared plus x minus 2. So this would be x squared minus x plus 2. Again, the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, so our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So we're going to see if the graph intersects at y equals 0. And we set our equation equal to that. And we set it to equal 0 and you cross multiply, this just cancels out, so you get x equals 0. So it crosses at the origin 0 comma 0, where x is 0 and y is 0. The next one we have is um, x cubed minus 1 over x squared minus 9. Now in this case, um, this is an oblique because the graph um, the degree in the numerator is larger than the degree in the denominator. So basically what I'm going to do first is um, use uh, long division and find the oblique asymptote. The degree in the numerator, which was n, is greater than m. So n is 3 is greater than 2. So I'm going to set it uh, x squared minus 9, and I'll just use long division on this one, because we have a square, and we have x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 1. And when you do that, you're going to um, use x, and multiply, you get x cubed, we don't have x squared, so let's just be 0x squared minus 9x. Now, we're going to subtract this, and we're going to get 9x minus 1. We can't divide anymore, so this would be actually like this, plus 9x minus 1 over uh, x squared minus 9. And remember when we did limits, this part's insignificant, really, when you're doing limits. So our oblique asymptote, or slant asymptote, is y equals x. Now... To see if it crosses, we're going to set it um, 
to um, the original equation. So basically, we're going to um, set x um, cubed minus 1 over x squared minus 9 equals x. And when you do that, you're going to get x cubed minus 1 equals um, x cubed minus um, 9x. And what happens is these two cancel. So you're going to get negative 1 equals negative 9x. So x equals negative uh, or positive 1 ninth. So the oblique asymptote intersects at um, 1 ninth. And since uh, this is our, our oblique asymptote, we set, we, we plug in the x, and that means our y equals x. So these are the same. And that's where it intersects. 1 ninth comma 1 ninth. Okay? The next one we have is another one. So basically, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to, uh, the degree in the numerator is 1 larger than the degree in the denominator. So we're going to do um, long division. And we're going to have x squared plus 2x. And that's going to go into uh, x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x. These are my placeholders, plus 1. And just divide, and you're going to get x. And that's going to give you x cubed plus 2x squared. Now we subtract the whole thing. And that's going to give you, uh, that cancels. So you get negative 2x squared and then plus 1. So now we can subtract, uh, we're going to do minus 2. And that's going to be negative 2x squared minus 4x. And uh, when you subtract, this cancels. So you get negative 4x plus 1. This is your remainder. We really don't need to care about that. So all we're going to care about is our line, our y equals mx plus b. So our, our bleak asymptote is y equals x minus 2. Now, to see if it crosses, we're going to write, in which we know it does, we're going to write this, um, like we're changing this to y and substituting our y in here. So basically we're going to have x minus 2 equals x cubed plus 1 over x squared plus 2x. Now, when you cross multiply, you're going to get x cubed plus 1 equals x cubed minus 4x. Now the cubes cancel, so we get 1 equals negative 4x, so x equals negative 1 fourth. Just divide both sides by negative 4. So now I know that my x is negative 1 fourth. Go back to this original and plug in negative 1 fourth minus 2, which is minus uh, 8 fourths. That's the 2. And this would be negative 9 fourths. So that's where it's going to cross, right here. All right? The next one, our, this one's a little easier. Our degrees are the same. So we just take our lead coefficients and divide them. So it's y equals 1. Now so it changes to y. Our y is 1, so set 1 equals x squared over x squared plus x minus 6. Cross multiply and you get, it's over 1, x squared plus x minus 6 equals x squared. These two cancel. Or if you subtract both sides, you get a 0 here. Equals x minus 6. So x is 6. So when y is 1, x is 6. 
And the next one, uh, again, our degrees are the same. Our coefficient is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So this is going to be y, which equals 1. Cross multiply, you get x squared minus 4 equals x squared plus x minus 12. These two are the same, they go away. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides. So we get x equals 8. So x is 8 and y is 1. This is where the graph crosses the horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. At y equals 1. Okay, here's another one where the degree in the numerator is smaller. So that means it's y equals 0. So this, this is y, set it to 0. When you cross multiply, this cancels out. So we just get x equals 0. Basically, when x is 0, y is 0, that's where it crosses the horizontal asymptote. Again, this one is y equals 0. Degree in the numerator is smaller, so set this to 0. Cross-multiply, you get um, 0 equals 3x. And so x is 0. So it crosses, this one's the same one, it crosses at the origin here, the horizontal asymptote at the origin. Now this one, again, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as 4x squared minus 4 over x to the 4th minus 16. Now the um, degree is smaller, so it's y equals 0. So set this to y equals 0. And you get uh, 0 equals 4x squared minus 4 over x to the 4th minus 16. You cross multiply, you get 0 equals 4x squared minus 4. And basically add the 4 to both sides. So you get 4 equals 4x squared. So x squared equals 1. And don't forget, when you square root both sides, always put the plus and minus. So x equals plus or minus 1. Therefore, it crosses twice. It crosses at 1 comma 0 and negative 1 comma 0. It'd be good to put this one in the calculator, see what it looks like. Okay, the next video I'm going to do is how to show algebraically the case where it doesn't cross. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.